What's up you guys? A welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I have a question for you guys. Does your car's floor mat ever get stuck underneath your gas pedal or your brake pedal? Or when you guys are off-roading, does the floor mat also just start sliding everywhere and it gets annoying? Or just possibly if you go inside your vehicle, it doesn't matter what kind of car you have, if you go inside your vehicle and the floor mat is just out of place, does that annoy you? Well, in today's video, I have an easy, super simple fix for you guys. The only tool you really need is your bare hands. Go ahead and get into the video and I'll show you how it's done. Before I get into the install and exactly how to do this and what it is, I just wanted to let you guys know I do have two to give away. So it's gonna be a really easy giveaway for you guys. All you guys have to do is one, just type enter me down below and let me know the color that you guys want. The one I'm gonna be giving away is a black one and these brown ones. The gray ones are for me. So these are super cool, super easy to install. Like I said, all you need is your bare hands, but if you do have a hammer and some wood, it'll be a little bit easier, but all you need is your hands. I also have a 10% off discount code by using my name, which I will link everything down in the description box below. If you guys do not win and you guys just wanna go ahead and purchase yours, I have a discount code for you guys. What these are is they hold your floor mats in place. Please keep in mind before we do the install, this is for almost any vehicle. So like I said, if you wanna go ahead and purchase yours, I do have a discount code for you guys or just go ahead and enter the giveaway it's really easy to win so as we all know on the 2018 and up Tacomas they already have these pins here which hold the floor mat in place and also on the driver's side uh, you may not be able to see it but both sides have these pins so for me I'm gonna be installing these on my rear floor mats really easy let's go ahead and get to it so this is the part where you might need a hammer if you don't have a hammer it's okay you can just use your bare hands but pretty much what we need this for is to locate the foam padding underneath the carpet because there is bare metal and there is foam padding so I'm gonna go ahead and show you so I know it's gonna be kind of hard to capture on camera, but you can feel the padding all around this edge here. And if I move towards the middle, you can hear that. I don't know if you can, but that's bare metal. You do not wanna put the clips there because they will break. So I'm gonna go ahead and put mine around this section here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark my floor mat and I'll do the same for the opposite side as well. Now that I've measured my floor mat and I know where I'm gonna cut the holes, I'm gonna go ahead and place you guys down right here and go ahead and show you. So this is where you might need your uh, extra piece of wood. If you do have some, I'm gonna go ahead and, of course, have your floor mat upside down. I'm gonna go ahead and put it underneath. You wanna go ahead and get your handy tool because this is what is gonna create the hole into the floor mat. So that way you can put the eagle claw. If there is any of these rubber spikes here, you can always just get one of these little cutters here and just kind of chop away. So I know I need to cut off three Give it one last measure, make sure it's good. The next step, get your handy cutter. So this little tool here, it does come provided with the Eagle Claw, but it's only if you pay the extra money. All you gotta do is go ahead and place it where you're gonna locate it. You wanna go ahead and get your hammer and just start cutting away. Just like that, it's cut away. Just keep in mind, if your floor mats already come equipped with holes, you of course could just skip this step. But if not, it's really easy to do. Make sure you pick up the tool to be able to make the hole. So the next step would be, let's go ahead and flip it to the upside. Pop the screw right in. If you run into this situation here, once you've cut this off, like I said, I was doing these on my rear Tacoma floor mats. On the rear Tacoma floor mats, they are a little bit thick right here, but there's no worry, you're still gonna be able to get your screw in there. All you gotta do is a little bit custom work and you'll see why. So of course the next step would be grabbing, like I said, this screw here, and you are gonna notice there is threading here, and at the bottom, there's no thread. You'll see why right now. So you wanna go ahead and put your screw in, just like that. Once you have it in this position here, you're gonna go ahead and get your washer that is provided, and you wanna go ahead and put it over the thread. Just like that. You wanna try to get it all the way to where there's no more thread, but if you can't, don't worry, because I'll show you why in a minute. We're gonna go ahead and leave this for now. This is where you should be. I'm gonna go ahead and do the opposite side of this floor mat, and then I'll go ahead and show you the next step. All 
All right, so now that both sides are finished, of course this is taking me a little bit longer because I'm showing you guys, but it's a really simple install. Let's go ahead and get to the next step. So the next step here is now putting back the floor mats, screws right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get the Eagle Claw, screw it onto the thread, place your floor mat where you're gonna want it. Of course, remember to make sure there is padding underneath the carpet. That's what we checked. So if you do use your hammer, make sure to be careful because you could break this, it is plastic. Or you could just use your heel, push down, Make sure you don't do it at an angle because it will also break. Let's go ahead and give it the test. I'm pushing on it. It ain't going nowhere. Let's go ahead and do this side now. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over, screw this on. So remember I was saying if the washer does not go all the way through, it's fine because when you're screwing it, it's gonna pop itself in place. Of course you don't want to over tighten because they can break, it is plastic. As stated, make sure not to do it in a sideways motion because it will break, it is plastic. Or with your foot. Nicely fastened. Let's go ahead and see. All right, testing it. It's not going nowhere. We're good. Let's go ahead and remove it, see what's in underneath. So as you can tell, Eagle Claw is still in place. Let's go ahead and reinstall it. You just get a flathead or a quarter, five cents, 10 cents, doesn't matter, to screw it back in place. Over tighten, it is plastic, and you're secure. This thing ain't going nowhere. All right, so if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This should be like a one to two minute install, super simple, and it can save your life, especially if you put these on your driver's side. If you guys do want to enter, remember, I do have these two to give away. If you do want to enter, all you got to say is enter me down in the comment section below and make sure to pick your color. Let me know, and you guys have a week to enter. I also have a 10% off discount code for you guys if you guys do want to go ahead and just purchase yours. Alright, so if you guys like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.